Hi, I'm Frank Willem, host for this episode of Gulf South Outdoors. Today our focus is on diving. I was certified under the Los Angeles Certification Program, the first such program in the country. The shop was in Redondo Beach, California, where Mel Fisher got his start. You may recall he's the guy that discovered the Atosha, that Spanish galleon that was filled with treasure. One ring alone was worth a half a million dollars. So I've been diving for over, well, let's just say a very long time. And yet every time I dive, I see something new and have a unique experience. Diving is an amazing adventure, which gives you access to the other three-fourths of the planet. Even if you don't dive frequently, having this skill can come in handy when the opportunity finally presents itself to have an adventure. It's a very safe sport, as long as you're properly trained first. Sometimes I hear people talking about going on vacation to say someplace like Cozumel to get certified while they're there. I think that's a really bad idea. While diving is safe, it takes a while to ingrain in your mind how to react in those rare occasions when things don't go right so that you can avoid getting the bends or having an air embolism. Oil rigs provide a habitat that attracts both large and small sea life. But artificial reefs formed from sinking concrete culverts or old ships can work great too. FADS, which stands for Fish Attracting Device, is another technique for forming more temporary artificial reefs. So that's just going to collapse or open up and be like a sail underwater, huh? Yep, like a horizontal fly. Huh. What keeps the floating? What keeps the top floating? Well, it's got a PVC pipe, inch huh. and a half PVC, schedule 40. Sweet. Cap on each end. Nice. Down she goes. <laughs> I'm gonna put some poles in. Uh, we, we put one down, but it came off the pole. Uh, that is really cool, Mark. Yeah, it's gonna be. Uh, it's pretty cool. If it films 360 all the way around this way and about 270 this way. Nice. nice. I can't wait to see yeah. the videos. And our good friends at Adventure Locators know lots about training new divers. Over the past 20 years, they've held hundreds of classes and trained thousands of divers. Here's Jerry Atkinson to tell you more. Diving's very safe nowadays with the advancement of modern technology to the advancement of high-end gear. Things hold up a lot better underwater. We use dive computers now to calculate our bottom time and how long we can stay down and how long we need to sit on top of the surface. Some of the fears that people have with diving nowadays is usually the fear of diving with a shark or a shark or type of animals in the water. But when we dive nowadays, it's a rare occasion that you ever see a shark. Most people actually go diving looking for sharks. As far as shark attacks with scuba diving, it, it hardly ever happens. Some people's fear is claustrophobia is a big one. Um, they feel like everything's enclosed, but actually in the water it's reversed. You know, it's you're underwater and there's nothing around you. It's all open. And now you are wearing dive gear. We also have the capability that if it's something that you want to try, we offer Discover Scuba Diving classes every time we have an open water class. We do those once and twice a month. So you can do a weekend or a weeknight, come in here and try it, see if it's something that you like, something that you feel interested in doing. And if you don't like it, you know, it's not for you. As it turned out, Mark had lost his weight belt during the dive. 
In a scenario like that, you want to make sure that you are somewhere close to where you can establish your buoyancy. Because usually what happens is as you start coming up, if you lost a weight belt, then your buoyancy might start coming back toward the surface and you're not properly able to do a safety stop. A weight belt is very important to have. It allows you to stay underwater in controlled neutral buoyancy. Your BCD allows you to move up and down in the water, but your weight belt allows you to stay underwater and stay neutrally buoyant. So what, why did you stay that long if the beast was bad? Huh? Why did you stay that long? Well, I mean, it wasn't too bad on a wreck. Okay. It wasn't, it wasn't real great. Did you see big fish? The snapper and triggers. There were some triggers at the shot. There you see. People that dive, there's all types of uh, specialties that you can do, whether it's underwater spear fishing, underwater photography, underwater videography. Spear fishing is really popular around the Gulf of Mexico. Done properly, it's a safe sport to do. Out in the Gulf is some of the best spear fishing in the world. Uh, with what we have out there, we dive on artificial reefs um, or oil rig structure. Um, it's more like a uh, vertical reef instead of a horizontal reef like you would see in the Caribbean. Uh, it's a vertical reef that goes up and down the water, so a lot of fish swim around it. Uh, we get big pelagic fish from tuna to wahoo to all types of fish that are out on the water, everything down to the very bottom of what you see in, a, in an aquarium or out in the Caribbean. You know, it's an abundance of life out there. After I shot this one there, so two big coils. You gotta come down, Mark. Yes, sir. All right, Omar. Come on. Nice. Here. We're out here uh, spear fishing with Primo Fish on the Gulf of Mexico, 186. There's Omar Vasquez. Yes. Omar shows you. Amberjack. Be a mama Amberjack. Omar, that's a beautiful fish, man. Woohoo! He's a beaut. Not when I try to carry it. It's gonna be this. Don't play the hero. <laughs> Where'd you go? We got this. Yeah, oh my gun is right behind you. Omar is more than likely wearing a lycra type material. It doesn't give any warmth like the wetsuit does that Mark was wearing, but what it does, it provides protection against underwater marine bacteria, brushes up against an oil rig, or anything of that nature. So why did you change shirts? Because the other one was cold? Huh? Oh, why I change? Yeah. yeah, it was cold. That shirt, I didn't want to put it on. <laughs> You're gonna go for a double the double the size, maybe 140 pound amberjack? Oh, I wish. <laughs> there's no way. <laughs> well, there's a lot. I want a scam grouper. Yeah. We do not have any grouper aboard. Is it really? We should draw on his face with a sharpie. Is that real? Not a lot of people consider the Gulf of Mexico a hidden secret, you know, like we do. It's actually a jewel out there that it's hidden from the world that unless you dove it before or been out there before, you, you really never experienced it. It's great because we have the Mississippi River and several rivers that flow out into the Gulf. And um, once you get past the barrier islands, 
All that nutrients that comes out of the rivers help with the fish population out here. It's a good nutrients for stuff. As far as fish, you know, the Gulf of Mexico is one of the best places to, to spearfish. Spearfishing is sure to provide a real adrenaline rush. The first time I shot a fish at depth, it poured out this green substance, and only later did I realize it was blood and only appeared green because red is blocked out of the color spectrum at depth. The spear gun Omar was using was powered by bands. It was attached to the gun by a stainless steel coated cable. So once you shot the fish, you're attached to the fish. But much of diving is about just taking in the natural beauty, like sea turtles. Diving with the buddy system is one of the most important rules when diving. You should always have someone there in case something was to happen. When you're diving with a buddy, if something does go wrong, he's there for you. If someone is a new diver, Usually we do buddy you up with somebody that is more advanced. Actually all the diving that we do, we recommend you having a buddy, at least one. Sometimes people dive in threes or sometimes we do a group dive. Well, the certification process that we do here at Adventure Locators is, is simple. It's a two-step process. We offer weekend or weeknight classes uh, every month. And then we also offer certification dives every month as well. So in order to get certified, there's some online studying and book work that you have to do, video, quizzes, classroom work that you do online. And then you come in to us and we do an orientation night go over all the stuff that you did in class, give you a, a test to make sure that you're the person that did the online course, not someone else. And then we go to the pool and do all your pool work. Uh, what's good about us, as far as what we do up here at Adventure Locators, is that safety is our number one concern. So we want to make sure that you're comfortable in the water. We want to make sure that if you went through the pool sessions and if you didn't understand it, that we bring you back to the pool sessions before you do your, your open water certification dives. We also make sure that we answer any questions that you have and um, that everything's safe when you're, when you're doing it.
Uh, we also do higher education uh, as far as open water. So open water is your, your first level to start with. Then we have advanced classes, rescue classes, uh, specialty classes that you can do to help you hone in your uh, tools that you might need to as far as becoming a better diver. Um, like if you're interested in underwater photography, we do a digital underwater photography class. You know, if you're into spear fishing, we do a little spear fishing class in house. Um, and then bring you out front and teach you how to shoot properly and do a little a dive with you. Um, so there are classes available to make you a stronger diver. Now once you're certified as an open water diver, you have all the skills that you need to to dive within your dive limits. Um, it's usually when you start going past your limits that you're certified for is where some people might have an issue. And that's where the next level of certification will help you with those uh, issues. Uh, we always want to make sure everybody's comfortable in the water. We always want to make sure everybody knows what they're doing. To get certified, it opens up your world to many different options. Certification can better your career depending on what field you're in. You know, we certify a lot with public safety divers that work with the police department, to public safety guys with the fire department, uh, to uh, research labs, the guys that do studying and collecting, to the Department of Marine Resources that do collecting, and the patrol guys that are out there. So if they're in the field of that, or if that's something that interests them, marine biology, you know, scuba diving's first step that you at least want to go through. One of my favorite things to do while diving is hunting for lobster. Up here at Adventure Locators, we travel all over the world. Um, we do trips to the Caribbean, uh, as far as like Belize, Bonaire, Curacao. Uh, the Cozumel is a real popular one, the Bahamas. Um, and we also do some in the, in the States. You know, our Florida Keys trips we do. Uh, we do those three or four times a year down to the Florida Keys. Dive down there for a, a nice weekend and come back. Uh, we do trips over to Destin, Pensacola, Gulf Shores, um, little day trips or weekend trips, getaways. Um, and then we also do some big dives out of the country, whether uh, it's down around Thailand or Australia or Kenya Toll or Truck or Blau or something like that. Adventure Locators also offers dive trips to other exciting places in the Caribbean where you might have the chance to dive with giant whale sharks. But wherever you go, you're sure to have an exciting adventure as well as plenty of good food. Not only are we a full service dive center, but we also offer scuba lessons from the open water all the way through the instructor level. So if you're interested in what you saw in the show today, stop by and see us. We can get you certified in as little as three days. With us, safety is our number one concern.